Whoa! <laughs> hey guys! Uh, I know it's been pretty much forever since I have last posted a video, and I'm really sorry about that. Please trust me, I really am sorry. A lot of stuff uh, started happening this summer for me. I changed jobs, which gave me more than twice as many hours as my old job. So I got really, really busy. I was always really tired from work. Uh, so I'm really sorry about not being consistent with posting videos at all. But I did come up with an idea to keep my consistency up and keep you guys engaged. Because guess what? I'm going to Ireland for like three months. And Ireland is a very vibrantly literary destination. Uh, it'll be just a fantastic experience and I would love to share it with you guys. So, welcome to my Dublin series videos slash just Ireland series videos because I'm sure I'll be other places in Ireland than just Dublin at some point in time. So I'll be sure to stop and see cool books and show them to you guys. I'll go into different bookstores and show them to you guys. Maybe show you some videos of the countryside. And I'll definitely be posting videos of just the process of my travels. Because why not? That way you guys can be engaged in the experience with me. And I think that would be really great. So I have approximately four days before I leave. And... <sighs> I have not started packing at all yet. <laughs> so, let's see how much I can get done packing and intellectually preparing for this trip. And what I mean by intellectual preparing, I mean reading as much literature before I go as I can so that I know what's important culturally to Ireland. So I have no idea how far I'm gonna get in my before leaving reading list considering it's a mountain and I am just about to start. But a few of the books that I have on this list are pretty thin so hopefully uh, it wouldn't take me that long to read them. So in case you guys are curious, my before leaving for Ireland reading list consists of this book because I already had it previously and why not? Uh, one of my goals when I'm over there is kinda to get a tattoo of a mythological creature from uh, Irish folk tales and lore. So maybe I can find some inspiration in this. And next we have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I've heard a lot of great things about this and I've heard it's kind of a wild philosophical adventure that's quite an enjoyable read so I'm very excited to get started on this one. This will probably be one of the first ones that I get to reading just because I'm so so ooh excuse me just because I'm so excited about it. Then I also have this play called Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas. I already started reading this and I really like it. It's hard to describe but I'll be sure to take notes as I'm going through it and let you guys know. And of course, I have Dubliners by James Joyce because that's a must. For this one, I may or may not get through because it is pretty thick and a lot to read in four days. But The Borstal Boy by Brendan Behan. Then I also have James Joyce, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, which I actually have two copies of. And I didn't realize that I did, but this one is like falling apart, so I got a nicer one. And of course, last but definitely not least, Ulysses by James Joyce. So that's my before reading list. I'll make a copy of the list down in the description below, that way you guys can uh, keep up with the list without having to rewatch my video because I'm sure that would get annoying. And I will be consistently sharing videos about my preparations for Dublin and my adventures in Dublin and it's just gonna be a really fun time and I hope you guys can join me for it. Also these are new glasses and they're bifocals. For some reason 
I feel like the angle that I'm looking into the computer cam, it makes it look like 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 I have a lazy eye or something, or like one eye is like stone cold staring. This this one. That's weird. So, uh, this was me, uh, Mickey, checking in after a very long hiatus. Again, I'm sorry, and I'll see you guys in my next video.